Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Pal World. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to safely move your base because you probably built your base in the first place in not the greatest spot. And then you found somewhere you were like, yo, this much, this is going to be so much better if I move here. So I'm going to show you how to actually safely move your base, disassemble things in the best, the, just the best ways to actually get your base moved. And it's pretty easy. So this is my new base. I've kind of got it set up just so I can see, because I have a large amount of land here, which I like a lot more than my initial base. And I put a few things down, but the biggest tips that I have for you is set up a whole bunch of storage boxes at your new base. Because what's going to happen is you're going to fast travel between your first base and your second base, and you want to be able to just drop stuff off quickly and head over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my original base, which I started. And then you're going to go ahead and... Okay, eventually it's going to load in. There we go. So basically you can see that I've mostly torn things down. However, there are still tames working. There's still stuff going on. In order to disassemble things, all you need to do is go into build mode and then hit C to go into disassembly mode. Now, once you enter disassembly mode, you will keep all of the resources and it'll go straight into your inventory. So just be aware of how much that's going to weigh. And you can quite literally, like I'm doing right now, just disassemble things and it'll go straight in your inventory. Now, you will eventually run out of room just to be aware um, because you want to just be aware of that fact. And then as you're running out of room, you just want to make sure that when you actually run out of room, you can transfer quickly. So keep an eye on your weight. So just hit tab and then you can see exactly how much weight you have. Now, I've taken most of the stuff, right? However, you also want to get some of your heavy resources, which can be a real pain in the butt, right? You can transfer some into your inventory. And I, if you use the shift click option, it will let you transfer some back into either side. And basically, once you're going to do that, you're just going to go back and forth and into those boxes that we've pre prepped. We're going to go ahead and just drop stuff off. Right now, the only thing is you need to be level 11 in order to swap bases back and forth. But basically, the it's really not that hard. You just have to. I mean, some people, I guess this video is for more for the people that are uh, not really sure what happens when you disassemble things and change things around. You just need to know how to do it. So hitting R, by the way, if you don't know that, that's what I'm doing right now to transfer everything quickly over so I don't have to worry about it. And you can quickly transfer just about everything you have and uh, just move it to your new base. So you can build your new base however you want. I'm going to suggest getting all your resources there first because that makes it a lot easier and then you don't have to worry about a lot. Now, apparently this cake takes forever to make. Um, but you, you want to leave some of the basic things that your pets over here need because you can still run a small base out of this area. You can see that I'm still running palladium or paldium fragments. Now, the cool thing, right, if I go into disassembly mode, whatever it was working on will be left on the ground, which is pretty unique. Um, I think that's really awesome, obviously. And it's just going to go straight in your inventory if you can actually hold it. And uh, so the uh, paldium was straight in my inventory. And then you can see if I really wanted to break these two as well, that that all those resources would go straight into my inventory. But I don't really feel like doing that at this moment in time. So I'm going to leave them to kind of sit with their ways. Now, you can set up multiple bases, but there's ways that you can use two bases to kind of teleport a little bit. So it's a little bit cheesy, um, but definitely kind of keep in mind that you can use B and then C to go into disassembly mode. And then you can kind of just use R in order to transfer all of your stuff into the actual storage boxes. Now, pretty much everything is kept at 100% value. So you don't lose anything for disassembling. So just keep that in mind. So it's not like there's a cost to it. You just have to actually go over there. Um, you can see that I've got a whole bunch of stuff there. That's 7,000 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and just leave that stone. Don't care. Don't want it. So I have so much stone in this area that I could never... I literally can't use enough. Um, but as you can see here, I might. How do I want to do this? Really? Thank you. But you just have to use the shift click in order to get half of the stuff anyways, and you'll come close to where you were at. So what you can do and just keep making these trips back and forth. And that's our goal in the first place. And once you've completed the trips, then you can just go ahead and demolish. And I don't know if you know about this menu here, but if you go over this and hit V, you can actually dismantle the entire base. And then that's a really unique thing. Anything that will stay, will stay. Anything that can't stay outside of a base will immediately get demolished and leave the resources behind. So just be aware of that. But this is how you disassemble the base. So yeah, pretty neat. And uh, definitely use this to the best of your ability because uh, it's, it's very useful in order to go into disassembly mode. So anyways, hope this video helps you out. And other than that, teach.